Welcome to this overview of the courses in the master program in electric power engineering. My name is Mikael Lamelin and I am the program director of this program. I am associate professor in the division of electric power and energy systems, where I am teaching and leading research projects on power system planning and electricity markets. Electric power engineering is a very wide field where theory from many scientific areas are applied to analyze and develop power components and power systems. This is reflected in the current structure of the program, which gives students a lot of freedom to choose courses that fit their specific interests. In the first semester, you will study mandatory basic electric power engineering courses, which will give you a foundation for further studies of the various topics in the program. These courses cover power electronics, electrical machines and drives, power grid technology and substation design, power system analysis, and electricity pricing and emissions. In addition to these technical courses, there is also one more mandatory course named the Sustainable Electric Power Engineer. This is a course to reflect upon learning and the role of electric power engineering in society. It runs over the entire program with two seminars per semester. In the second semester, we focus on advanced power system theory. In total, you need at least 22 and a half credits of these advanced level courses spread out in this semester and in the second year. You can choose from more than 20 courses, which continue and elaborate on the topics taught in the basic level courses from the first semester. And in addition to that, the Sustainable Engineer course from the first semester continues also during the second semester. The third semester is moving towards applications of electric power engineering. You will need to take a larger project course. In addition to that, you can also continue to study additional advanced courses or choose free optional courses. The third semester is also an appropriate time to take the mandatory course on theory and methodology of science. Finally, in the fourth and last semester, the main course will be your master thesis project. You can find projects in a wide range of topics. Many students work on a problem that has been provided by a company. But there are also projects that are related to KTH research or initiated by students themselves. This was just a quick overview of the courses in the program. For more information, please find the program description here on the KTH website.